the nervous system. Ah! Hey, calm down. We're just talking about the nervous system. The nervous system transmits signals and coordinates actions throughout the body, all within thousandths of a second. I had a dream you would come to visit me today. In the dream, I saw some vocabulary. But then my donkey snorted, woke me up, and so this is all I can offer you for now. A neuron is a nerve cell. It is the basic unit of the nervous system and can carry an electric charge. Dendrites are branches extending from the neuron that carry nerve impulses toward the cell body. An axon is a branch that extends from the neuron that carries nerve impulses away from the cell body. A synapse is a tiny gap between two neurons that a nerve impulse or signal is sent across. An action potential is another name for a nerve impulse, an electrochemical signal sent across the synapses from one neuron to the next. All right, the nervous system. Let's break it down. The nervous system is made up of two areas, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is the brain and the spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system is the network of nerves all throughout the rest of the body. The peripheral nervous system consists of two parts, somatic and autonomic. The somatic division includes the nerves that control the skeletal muscles, skin, and joints. The autonomic division includes the nerves that control your internal organs, like your liver and your kidneys, and all that good stuff. Are you digging this yet? You see, the nervous system isn't all alone in the body, just doing its thing in isolation. Like we mentioned earlier, it's all connected. As you can see, the nervous system is linked to other systems that control the muscles and organs and all the other stuff. I dig it. Everything's connected. Now let's take a closer look at what the nervous system is made out of. Yeah! Yeah! The nervous system is composed of Whoa. neurons, which are cells that can carry an electrical charge. Whoa! We have electrical charges running through our bodies? We'll look at two kinds of neurons, motor neurons and sensory neurons. Sensory neurons fire in response to stimuli in the environment and motor neurons fire to cause a muscle to react. Here's a typical motor neuron. A motor neuron is a neuron in the somatic division that connects to your muscles. The cell body is this thing that looks like a fried egg with roots and which contains the nucleus of the cell. The roots are dendrites. Dendrites conduct nerve impulses inward toward the cell body. The long string is the axon. The axon conducts the nerve impulse away from the cell body. The end of the axon is called the axon terminal. The axon terminal releases chemical signals into the synapse. Ah, the synapse. The synapse is a space between one neuron and another neuron. More specifically, it is between the dendrite of one neuron and the axon of another. Now, onto a sensory neuron. Guess what? A sensory neuron is really similar to a motor neuron, actually. But the dendrites, which collect the information and channel it toward the cell body, are a lot bigger. It makes sense. A sensory neuron carries info about your surroundings to your brain. The brain reacts by setting off a motor neuron to cause movement. Remember, motor neurons are found in the somatic division, which involves things like muscles and skeleton, things that make you move. Just think motor neurons are for moving, like a motor makes a car move. We were just saying that dendrites carry nerve impulses towards the cell body and exons carry them away. So it's possible that you've been wondering what a nerve impulse is. Or maybe you hadn't been, but we're going to tell you anyway. A nerve impulse is an electrochemical pulse generated from the cell membrane that travels along the axons of the neurons, like a little wave of electricity. Another name for a nerve impulse is action potential. So here's what a nerve looks like when it's firing the nerve impulse. Like a bolt of lightning, the nerve impulse travels down the axon from the cell body. When it gets to the axon terminal, chemicals called neurotransmitters carry it across the synapse. Then they attach to the dendrites of the next neuron, which causes the nerve impulse of the next neuron, and so on, like a chain of dominoes falling. This chain of impulses is what allows messages to be sent from one part of your body to another. So, if you see a scary doll head flying at you, you can move your arms to catch or block it. As you may have noticed, these messages travel fast. 
Otherwise, we'd all be getting scary doll heads thrown in our faces without knowing what hit us. So we know that sensory neurons fire in response to stimuli in the environment and motor neurons fire to cause a muscle to get into action. Now, between these symptoms of the motor neurons and the sensory neurons lie the interneurons. Interneurons are inhibitory, meaning they filter out unnecessary stimuli that we really don't need to pay attention to, like the feel of the chair on the back of my legs. I, myself, I've always been a fan of interneurons. Yes, I, I enjoy the finer things in life, like the unnecessary feel of this chair on the back of my legs. Mm. So that's the nervous system. Remember, the nervous system allows communication between different parts of the body, such as the eyes and the hands, so that the body is able to interact with its environment. You never know when somebody's going to throw a scary doll head at you.